A debate on the National Dialogue Committee report began today at the Senate with legislators from the Azimiola Umoja, One Kenya, and those from the Kenya Kwanzaa clashing on some issues in the report. The issue of gender parity eliciting reactions from leaders who accused the committee of failing to give a proper solution to what they termed as a thorn in the flesh of Parliament. Key among the recommendations that the Senate and the National Assembly are set to deliberate on are having a new electoral commission in place, measures to lower the high cost of living, creation of the office of the leader of opposition and the office of the prime minister, among others. It was shocking to see that the issue of two that gender rule could have been sent outside the process of this report, Mr. Speaker. And I would urge the leadership of this house, having understood how important it is to take care of over 50 percent of the population in Kenya, to find an avenue, Mr. Speaker, when the amendments are being proposed, to find an avenue, Mr. Speaker, to reintroduce that very important issue. On the issues that touch on women, they have chosen these committee members who maybe might have worked very hard. I don't know. Because for me, I cannot read anything else, Mr. Speaker, when the first thing that is highlighted is that on the issue of the two-third gender rule, we are not going to discuss it. They should go what and then we come back. Order, Senator? The burden of achieving the two-third gender is a burden that this administration took up themselves. It's a burden that when one William Samoy Ruto went round the country seeking support from women, he promised them a 50-50 arrangement in the cabinet. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I don't know whether the Senator Veronica is in order to mislead this House and the public that this committee, the NATCOM committee, decided to exclude women. It is women who decided to remove the process from NATCOM and start something else under Ministry of Gender. Order, Order Senator Gloria. 